Tig, we have a lot of stuff to talk uh, about tonight. I want to start with the last time you were here, though. You did a very funny, uh, gave a very funny performance, the very unusual component to it. I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I pushed a stool. You pushed a stool. There was I a did. stool next to you, and you pushed it across the stage, and you did it for a really long time. Do people and not typically do that? Nobody does that. And then... Uh, our director had the audio of the sound that the stool made as it scraped across the floor. And for weeks afterwards during rehearsal, he would randomly torture me. Can we, can we hear that? <laughs> oh, they have... That just went on and on and on. It, you know, it, it plagues me too because I can't go anywhere near a stool now or any furniture really. People are horrified that I'm gonna start pushing things around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope to go into the it's, a real, it's a real problem that you have. It is. It's, a, it's one of my biggest problems these days, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's get to that. <laughs> you were supposed to be on our show in July, but you had uh, health issues. How are you? Well, I, uh, yeah, I, I pushed the stool around, and, uh, and then I was, everything was going great. I was doing stand-up all around, and... Mm -hmm. TV, film, play, all sorts of things, busy, and then all of a sudden my life just nosedives. And it really did nosedive. Tell us it, it everything really that did. happened. It really did. I got, I got pneumonia, mm -hmm. and then I contracted this life-threatening, deadly illness called um, C. diff, and it's this bacteria that just eats your intestines. Mm -hmm. And um, I was in the hospital for like a week, lost 20 pounds, thank God. <laughs> 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 yeah, you were a real yeah. chunk before yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I finally got that whittled off my waistline. And, um, and then um, I got out of the hospital, and then it was my birthday, a couple days after the uh, mm -hmm. hospital. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. You Happy had to sing it to yourself? <laughs> Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was my birthday, and then a few days after that, my mother uh, passed away unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, sorry. Thank you. A freak accident. And then, um, yeah, it, uh, I, I got out of a relationship shortly after that. And then, um, then I was diagnosed with cancer. Please hold for applause. <laughs> Please be seated. Thank you so much. Um, this was all in four months. Right. It all happened. It, I mean, we were all hearing about it, but yeah. event after event after event, and this cancer diagnosis is very serious. I, I, yeah, that's what happened after the stool. And you, you, <laughs> you make it sound like the comedy gods were punishing you <laughs> for pushing a stool around. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's just literally what happened. I pushed the stool, and then... Cancer. <laughs> so you go in and you have uh, surgery. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. I, uh, I, well, after I mean, at, before that, I was, um, I, I had found out that. Well, I mean, I was, I was supposed to do a show. I was supposed to do This American Life, and mm -hmm. uh, so I was working on some new material. And, um, and so Ira Glass, the host, had suggested that I work on some new material. And, and uh, I had this show set up at Largo. And he was like, the owner. Largo's a theater here, here in, in Los uh, Angeles. In, in Los Angeles yeah. and in and, Hollywood. Yeah, so I was going to perform there. And uh, I had just left the doctor. And the doctor had told me that I had uh, stage two breast cancer in both breasts. And on the left side, it was an invasive tumor that uh, was not contained. It had possibly spread to my lymph nodes. And, and I got the uh, happy birthday. <laughs> so you went to Largo. You gave this show. And yeah. Louis C.K., who we mentioned in the last segment, uh, who's an old friend of ours. Uh, Comedian, right? Com yeah, he's getting there. <laughs> if he can get a shot on this program, he'll have really made it. Um, Louis C.K. tweets. He goes and sees you perform that night. Well, Our he, he, was, he was my special guest. Right. And I was going to go on stage and do this material, and I was like, oh my gosh. I kept picturing myself being the comedian that walks out and is like, all right, I've had a lot going on. Uh, please bear with me. And then I was like, I can't go out. and do That's so lame to make excuses for my performance. And right. my brain was like, 
what if you walked out and you were just like, hi, thanks for coming. I have cancer, just diagnosed. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. Right. And then I kept <laughs> laughing. And I was thinking, what if somebody has cancer, though, if, and I offend somebody? And I was like, wait, I have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. I have cancer. Yeah. So I kept laughing about it. And so, yeah, I, I went out on stage and was like, hi, I have cancer. And the audience was unbelievable. They were with me. And, and in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, if this show goes horribly, at least I have Louis C.K. as my surprise guest, and he'll mm -hmm. just slam dunk this whole evening. But it was an intense evening where the audience was crying and laughing. And uh, it, was, uh, it was so insane. And well, Louis watched your performance, and he tweeted, it's the greatest stand-up I've seen in his, that he has seen in his 27-year career, what you did that night. Wow. Absolutely incredible <laughs> performance. Um, Thank <clears throat> Louis is pretty good, too, I have to say. <laughs> He still needs to get on this program. Uh, what is your, uh, tell us, I, I, I wish we had more time. Uh, what is your latest prognosis? Well, I, I had, you had the surgery. I had surgery, I did, yeah. Uh, double mastectomy. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that after the double mastectomy. <laughs> I hope that's not how your doctor told yeah. you that. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's, who's your doctor, the Fonz? <laughs> No, uh, they, uh, they got all the cancer and it did not spread. And uh, my prognosis is great, so. Best. Best news anybody here has heard in a long time. Yeah, it's exciting. I want to make sure I get to this. Uh, this is uh, Liv, I'm pronouncing this correctly. Yeah, it's uh, Louis called me the day after my performance. He was in San Francisco with, uh, he was like, I just had lunch. He was shooting a movie with Woody Allen. He said, mm -hmm. I just had lunch with Woody for two or three hours. I was telling him all about you and your performance. And I just think it's important that this needs, this needs to be released, this right. audio. And he said, I want to release it from my website exclusively. And, uh, and so it will be available from Louis C.K.'s website. Uh, and it's called Live because of the figurative and literal life and death of the material uh, that's on there. But I also like the idea that uh, people will always think it's Tig Notaro live. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'll always have to correct them and say, no, it's, it's Live. <laughs> Take Your Toro Live is available at uh, louisck.net for $5 and a portion of the proceeds will go to charities associated with fighting breast cancer. We are so grateful that you're on the mend and please come back and see us anytime. I would love to. Thank Tig you. Tig Notero, ladies, have a right back. <laughs>